Hey everybody, welcome to Life Mastery Hack. Today we're going over six ways to improve mental health. Everyone has their own struggles and it's important for us all to take care of ourselves in the best way possible. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss more videos like this. Now let's get straight into the video. Number 1. Eat healthy. A lot of people say eating healthy is hard and that it's boring, but eating well has a lot of benefits. It can lower blood pressure and cholesterol, keeps your heart healthy, helps you lose weight, makes you feel better, slows down the aging process, and gives you more energy than eating a lot of junk food. But eating healthy can have another benefit too. It can improve your mental health more than just your physical health. There are several ways eating well and staying active can help with mental health, including Eating less sugar and processed foods, which helps to stabilize your mood. Eating healthier foods also makes it easier to get a good night's sleep. It can also reduce stress and improve memory. Eating more fruits and vegetables also improves brain function. It also keeps you happier and gives you more confidence. While eating a lot of junk food can make mental health problems worse and increase the risk of depression. Depression is the most common mental health condition in America, with more than 7% of adults experiencing depression each year. Symptoms include feelings of hopelessness and worthlessness, eating poorly, and a loss of interest in usual activities. Depression is usually treated using a combination of psychotherapy, meaning talk therapy, and medication. A lot of research has shown eating a diet high in sugar and fat can cause depression-like symptoms, and eating more fruits and vegetables lowers the risk of depression. Studies show eating healthy reduces fatigue, which is a key symptom of depression. It also helps you sleep better, another symptom of depression that eating healthy can help with. Number 2. Exercise regularly. While exercise is promoted as a method of improving physical health, the benefits that are associated with a regular workout include improving your mental health. Exercise has been proven to be a great natural therapy for depression and anxiety. The positive endorphins released from exercise promote feelings of euphoria and happiness, as well as reduce stress levels that may contribute to symptoms of depression or anxiety. In addition, overcoming fears and obstacles during a workout helps to increase your self-confidence. Feeling good about yourself and improving energy levels may help to improve symptoms of depression and anxiety. Your quality of life can be easily improved by exercising regularly. By making exercise a part of your daily routine, you can begin to improve the way you feel about yourself as well as begin to feel good about your life, instead of feeling negative. If you're feeling down, this is a great opportunity to get outside and feel the fresh air. You don't need to work out hard, like people in the gym, if you are just starting out. You can simply start from light work, like just walking or jogging outside the house. The key is continuing the process, even if it's just 5 minutes. By taking time for your health, you're setting a positive example for yourself. Number 3. Get enough sleep every night. Did you know that poor sleep can be linked to depression, anxiety disorders, and even memory problems? Additionally, getting enough sleep can help protect you from heart disease. In this video, I'll share some surprising facts about sleep and its connection to mood, productivity, and more. Here are some surprising facts about sleep. Sleep can help you think more clearly and creatively. Improving the quality of your sleep can improve your problem-solving skills and reduce stress, which is why a good night's rest after a stressful day can make such a difference. Sleeping less than 7 hours a night may raise your risk of heart attacks and high blood pressure. Sleeping less than 5 hours a night may increase the risk of accidents and injuries. Getting enough sleep can help you maintain your coordination, alertness, and ability to react quickly in emergencies. Not getting enough sleep can make you feel dizzy, decrease your ability to concentrate, and cause muscle weakness. It's very important for our bodies to get the right amount of sleep. So how much sleep do I really need? The answer is, it depends, but the average adult sleeps for about 7-8 to eight hours a night. If you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, try going to bed and waking up at the same time every day. You'll probably see an improvement in your sleep quality. Number 4 drink lots of water. Have you ever thought about the mental effects of dehydration on your mental health? The fact is, not drinking enough water can easily affect your mental well-being. You should drink a glass of water when you wake up and when you go to bed to reap these benefits. Drinking lots of water has many mental benefits that you should be aware of, aside from keeping your body hydrated by circulating oxygen to all the organs in your body. Drinking water may also lift up your mental health as well. Here's what you need to know. 
When you're dehydrated, your brain is not only weak and tired, but also prone to mental fatigue. One out of three Americans suffer from mental illness, which can be caused by dehydration. When the body is hydrated, it produces an important chemical called serotonin, which is a mental mood stabilizer that controls depression and anxiety. When you're dehydrated, your body may not produce enough serotonin, which affects mental health. In addition, the lack of water in your body can affect mental health by causing confusion and making you feel uncomfortable. Drinking water also helps mental well-being because it cleanses all organs in the brain, including memory recall, alertness, and mental clarity. In addition, mental well-being can also be improved by drinking water because it helps your mental health by reducing stress and elevating your mood. As a result, all mental health-related issues can be improved by drinking enough water. Aside from that, mental well-being is also a vital factor in helping you live a better life. Remember to drink a glass of water when you wake up and when you go to bed every day. It's very important for our mental health. Number 5. Spend time with people who make you feel good about yourself. At the core of mental health is a sense of positivity. We may all be prone to negative thinking or feelings from time to time, but having healthy mental habits can help us get through the bad times and prevent mental health issues from arising in the first place. Spending time with people who make you feel good about yourself is one mental health boosting habit that is worth making a priority in our day-to-day -day lives. The people around us can have a profound effect on how we feel and it's important to create relationships with those who bring out the best in us. For mental health, direct quality time with friends or family can be invaluable. But sometimes even groups of people or even strangers can provide mental health benefits if the situation is right. Given that mental health promotion at a mental health clinic may not be immediately accessible for all, spending time with people who make you feel good about yourself can help your mental health. Who you spend time with can have a direct impact on your mental health. Countless studies have shown that people who develop close relationships with others generally experience better mental health. It's comforting to be surrounded by friends and family members who care about you. The type of support they can provide is hard to find elsewhere and is very important to not spend time with people who make you feel down. Just focus on spending time with those who truly care about you and stay away from negative people as much as possible. Number 6. Read books that are uplifting. When thinking about mental health and mental illness, most people think about something outside of themselves affecting them negatively. However, much of the time, mental wellness comes from within ourselves. Therefore, mental health issues can be combated by improving your mental well-being. Becoming an active reader is another way of doing this. Individuals who read are much less likely to suffer from mental illness. And in fact, reading has been shown to improve mental health for individuals of all ages. By engaging in a mental activity that puts you at the center of attention, you actively engage with yourself on another level. Furthermore, diving into a book also allows you to lose track of time. When we read, time passes rapidly because we become so focused on what we're reading. If you have ever sat down with a good book and felt like hours passed by without noticing, then you know exactly what I mean. When somebody feels this sense of losing themselves in their own mental activity, it gives them mental balance. This mental balance allows the individual to be at peace with themselves and their lives. This mental wellness or mental healthiness is crucial if we're going to properly improve our mental well-being. As you read more and more, you will notice that your mental health improves greatly. Because reading puts you in a position of power, engrossed in a book means that you engage yourself on an emotional level beyond most other activities. In addition to improving your sense of mental well-being and bettering your mental health through active engagement with yourself, it also helps out with developing positive self-esteem. As mentioned previously, for anybody who enjoys reading, you will notice that time passes by faster than usual. This is because the mental activity involved in reading focuses on yourself and your own mental health. The sense of mental well-being that comes with reading books also builds up a strong mental core for positive self-esteem. Thus, those who read regularly are known to have better mental health overall. So let's start by picking a book that seems helpful for your current situation. Overall, you might find some books that can change your life forever. Alright, that's it for the video, and thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more videos. Now check out this video on 9 morning routine habits that will change your life. See you in the next video.